People of Reddit, what is the most glitch in the Matrix experience you've had? I was in the kitchen with a friend. I was reaching up to the highest shelf to try and get a serving tray down. As I tilted it towards myself to pull down, a huge kitchen knife, the Halloween kind, came sliding off, point first, toward me. This was in a place I was renting, no clue who put the knife up there. Time seemed to slow down as I watched the knife fall toward my body. I heard it scrape against the tray as it slid off, and watched the point aimed right for my solar plexus. I had time to think, oh shit, this is it, this knife is about to plunge hilt deep into my belly at a downward angle, and I'm going to die, is a strangely calm and attached way. As the point of the knife touched my t-shirt, the whole knife just winked out of existence, as if it had never existed. It was just there and then not. I was ready to write the whole thing off as a weird hallucination or something, and question my sanity, when I look over at my friend, who is standing next to me. His eyes are huge and his jaw is open, and he says what just happened to that knife. I started freaking out, and shaking all over oh my god you saw it too. He saw the exact same thing I did. We looked everywhere for a knife like that in the kitchen, and opened every drawer, because maybe it fell somewhere, and we somehow didn't see or hear it. No knife anything, like it was anywhere in the house. This was in 2007, actually the week right after Thanksgiving that year so around this time of year craziest thing that has ever happened to me. I wonder about it all the time, and wish I had an answer. If anyone else has experienced anything like this, I'd love to talk. Sorry for shitty formatting I'm on mobile. Did magic mushrooms with 4 friends. While we were tripping I saw 3 of them with grey hair and old, looking like they were at least 50. For some reason I didn't see the 4th guy. We were all sitting around a table on chairs and we were only 2 to 3 feet apart. After about a minute I snapped out of it, and I saw everyone again, young and normal. We were 21 at the time. This stayed with me for a while. 8 months later, the fourth friend, whom I didn't see in my vision, died in an accident. It's been 7 years since he died, and this still freaks me the fuck out. I had a very vivid dream once my senior year of high school of walking into a college auditorium for a student recital. I was going to college to study music, and the chairs were empty except for 4 or 5 guys. In the dream I knew their names. I ended up being in a band with all them a year later. Same names, same faces. Didn't put it together until later. I was having a vivid dream of getting into a fight with my brother over something pointless, and becoming so infuriated that I punched a hole in my kitchen wall, through old drywall slash plaster obviously, and cutting my knuckles. I woke up the next morning, and found my hand just fine. But there was a hole in my kitchen wall exactly the same as in my dream. Who punched the wall? To start off, my place of employment doesn't have a uniform, probation office. Well one Friday a few weeks ago, I decided to wear khaki pants, a black polo shirt, and black shoes. My supervisor comes in wearing khaki pants, a black polo shirt, and black shoes. The other supervisor comes in wearing khaki pants, a black polo shirt, and black shoes. Two more officers come in wearing, you guessed it, khaki pants, a black polo shirt, and black shoes. We did not coordinate this, and we had a really good laugh about it. A few winters ago, my hands were severely chapped cracked and bleeding. I was sitting in a very long stoplight and sort of zoned out. It felt like time slowed way down. I started imagining that I had a really good hand lotion, and that I was putting it on my hands, and that this lotion was so good that it healed them and softened them. The light turned green, and I drove on, and didn't think of it again until later, when I noticed that my hands were 100% healed. Not dry or cracked or bleeding. Perfectly smooth. Saw myself blink in the mirror at 3am the next day went to the bathroom again at 3am and saw my hand move up, but I was actually testing them on the sink. I had a friend call me several years ago. He said hey, just saw you at Ziz and tried to say hi, but couldn't get your attention. What's up? I was confused and told him that couldn't be possible because I was across the country. He's couldn't believe it. Said there was no way and this person was obviously me. When I was around 8 ninths in 2003 slash 2004 I vividly remember seeing a song come on the TV. Just haven't met you yet. Michiel Bublé. 
I remember the music video entirely, and the melody and lyrics had stuck with me, but I could never find the song again and no one knew what I was talking about. I remember being in the living room in my old house, when I saw it playing on our old TV. We moved house in 2005, the year my brother was born. Then the song was released in 2009 I believe, I remember hearing it on the radio again, and losing my shit, because I knew all the lyrics, and it triggered that memory. I finally knew the name of the song slash artist. Then when I watched the music video it was exactly the same as I'd remembered. Also I have read a few books, as soon as they're released, no illustrations or talks of movie being made, and imagined the setting, the faces of the character ECT in my head as I read, and then years later, when they released films, every single thing in that film has matched up, the setting, the faces, to what I'd imagined. I have a detailed memory of the fall of the Berlin Wall, despite only being a month old at the time. I was in my childhood home, watching it live on television with my parents, and listening to their discussion. I remember my mother holding a baby, presumably me, the smell of dinner, what they were wearing, everything. When I told my mother about it, she said it was probably a broadcast years later, and you thought it was live, and I told her about how they talked about the Soviet made kitchen utensils her grandmother had found at a flea market, and how my mother used to bake with them as a kid. My mother looked, like I had just told her I knew her darkest secret, like she'd killed a man, and said I don't know how you could possibly remember that. One time my mum and I was driving on a road near to where we live, that we used to go down every morning. We turned a corner as usual, but there was a person standing still looking straight next to us, that looked exactly like my mum, even had a leather jacket on that looked exactly like hers, the only thing different was she looked a bit older. I thought I was seeing things, and I thought, if I asked my mum, if she saw it then she would say no, but I asked, and she saw, and was as confused as me. Looking back I wish we stopped, and got out to talk to whoever it was. I used to remember my dreams every night. Gradually in the past 6 months it's gotten to the point, where I can no longer remember any of them at all. It's as though I've just stopped having dreams entirely, because not only do I not remember dreams, I don't even remember having them. Anyhow, I was talking to a co-worker about this a few months back, and how odd it was that I don't dream anymore. Then I go home that night, and have a dream for the first time in 3 months. Very vivid. I haven't had another dream since. Around 4 years ago my wife and I decided to have some drinks and watch the Robber Cop remake. We each made a drink, and settled on the couch. This was summer and we don't have ac, so I had the sliding glass door open. Our living room is situated at the rear of the house just off the back patio. I recall watching the movie to the point where you see Robocop, just after he was made into a cyborg, and then poof I woke up lying on the couch, I was sitting, while watching the movie, no pillow, back door wide open. My wife was asleep on the chaise lounge portion of the sofa, neither of us could recall falling asleep. I had finished my drink and there was still half of hers. We talked about it most of the day trying to piece together how we could have both possibly fallen asleep like that. In a stickler for closing and locking doors and windows before bed and I wouldn't have gone to sleep on the couch. We call it the night we were abducted by aliens. About 20 years ago I was at a friend's apartment and set my keys down on her floor, where we were sitting. After a while I turned to pick up my keys, as I needed to go, but the keys had disappeared. My friends and I searched for an hour in her tiny studio apartment, and couldn't find my keys. They just disappeared, and were never found again. As a kid, I was swimming in a lake with a friend, and I jumped down from this floating platform, and my friend accidentally jumped on top of me, pushing me deeper underwater. I of course just start swimming up, but when I reach the surface, I'm still good couple feet underwater, and I see second surface above me. I keep swimming, and finally get to the surface. I still can remember how it looked, like to break the surface, only to see I was still underwater. Creepy. I was watching movies in the living room late one night. I finally was exhausted and decided to go to bed. I knew my double sized bed was tight against the wall, so I didn't bother turning on the light, and flung myself into my bed. I rolled on it, and then straight in the floor. My bed should be tight against the wall, but somehow I was on the floor instead of in it. 
I could reach the light switch from where I was, so I crawled over what was there of my bed, and turned on the light and boom. My double bed was there, and still pushed against the wall. My mom thinks that me and her have special things about us. Like there was a girl in my country, that was found in a freezer, I think, at a hotel. I remember scrolling down the news online, and seeing an article about her. About two weeks later my mom, who loves conspiracy theories, showed me an article about the girl. I told her I had already seen it, and she was shocked. She explained to me, and showed me proof, that it had just happened a day or two ago. The article she was reading, was the same one I had seen with the same pictures and same headline. Apparently I knew about this girl's death before it even happened. My mom also woke up from a dream one day, and predicted 5 important people, in Mexico's death. It happened in the exact order she said their names, on the date she predicted, and they died the way she predicted too. And they were not connected at all. I think one was a famous soccer player, that died in a plane crash, and another a politician who died from a brain tumor or something like that. There were more, but I don't remember the rest of them. These occurrences were probably not glitchy enough, but just some very odd occurrences, that our physics engine sometimes pumps out. One day in middle school, my buddy and I were bored, and waiting for the class bell to ring, and we were having a tug of war with a pencil. We were pulling from each side, and it suddenly popped into two very clean pieces. No splinters, nothing. The pencil must have been very cheap and our forces must have been incredibly equal from both sides. Working in a restaurant, I dropped a glass coffee pot from my hands, waist high, onto the hard tile floor. Instead of shattering into a thousand pieces, it bounced, like a basketball, directly back into my hands, as if time rewound itself to prevent the damage. Another time in that same restaurant, I was in a hurry, and was walking at a brisk pace to get somewhere. I slipped on some oil, and was met with the excruciating pain, that comes with blowing out your knee, as in a kneecap dislocation. I've had 5 dislocations prior to this, and the feeling and pain was exactly the same sensation as those previous injuries. I sat there in shock for a couple of seconds, before assessing the damage, only to find, that I was completely fine. No dislocation, nothing. It was like I warped into an outcome, where I simply slid to the ground. I promptly bought some non-slip shoes after my shift. One of the strangest things that ever happened though was when I was sitting on a bed next to my brother, watching TV. For no reason whatsoever, I looked over at him and poked him in the eye. I didn't want to do this, but I felt like I had no control over what was happening. It really felt like something turned my head to look at him and used a control mechanism to extend my arm and poke him in the eye. I think I'm an avatar that some alien is controlling and he just needed to recalibrate his controls because things were getting fucky. I was house sitting my parents place for a few weeks while they went up the coast 1200 plus km away. In the middle of house sitting, I lost my keys. On the keychain I'd lost was a unique little key fob, my car keys, the card to the car park gates at my flat, and the keys to my flat. I only have one card to the car park gates which was on that keychain, and the spare keys to my flat were with a friend. I got a replacement card to the gates from building management, my spare flat keys from my friend, and from there got my spare car keys from the filing cabinet in my flat. I told my mother about the lost keys on my next call, and she said she had an extra set with her she thought were mine. She described them, and they were my keys, right to the unique key fob. Somehow the keys I'd been using for my car for more than a week, to drive back and forth to my flat daily, with the card I used on my car park gate, and the keys to the flat, were suddenly in her bag 1200 kilometers away. When she arrived back home, sure enough they were my keys. I'd never had more than the one car park gate card, yet I'd used it for more than a week before it disappeared, and it was my original card when it came back with her. I'd also only had the two sets of car keys, and there was no way for those keys to be both in my flat and used to drive my car to my parents' place to find that I'd lost keys. The unique key fob was a little handmade leather thing that fit nicely in my hand. The only logical explanation is that my parents sneaked back for a bit and accidentally picked them up and then drove back, but looking at times on photos as they were taken, mum and dad were in the photos taken all through their holiday including the time between 
when I last drove, and when I realized my keys were lost, about a 5 hour period. Not to mention I also checked where they were regularly when I'd call, using find my friends. That, or over time I'd accidentally built two very unique looking, but identical sets of keys and forgotten it, including the two little leather fobs. No one in my life believes me but this has annoyed me for years and years. So basically, when I was a little kid there was this TV show that me and my mum watched. I remember it so vividly, we were just scrolling through the channels when we stumbled upon it and she said it looked right up my street since it was a fantasy show and I was super into that sort of stuff back then. It was a live action show about fairy tale characters basically and after the first episode younger me was super hyped to keep watching it. We are subscribed to a magazine called Radio Times which is a TV guide and the show was in there with a time slot and all. So the next Friday, or whatever day it was, we settled down to watch it, and it never came on. It was weird, but we figured it had been cancelled or moved channels or something. I was bummed out but kinda forgot about it, I didn't have access to the internet back then, so I cold and google what happened to it or anything. Years go by, and people started talking about this new show on TV, and I noticed it had the same plot. I was so excited thinking it was a rerun of this show I'd longed to watch since I saw the first episode as a kid. But apparently the show was brand new. I looked it up, and it was. I still refuse to get over it, and have never watched a single episode of the new version. Version I don't have a creepy old memory of. I dk how to word it. Technically both versions are the same show, yet I've had it confirmed by people that what I remember from the plot is indeed that show.